though When I'm on the track, I'm Mario Andretti These rappers ain't even Mario Kart ready I make it look like the boy My arms be looking in the mirror like your battle to all ready I'm so deadly when I let the pen bleed Allergic to one's vibes and tendency Frankly, I only take my veggies I know I got the whole game in a frenzy What's going on guys? Welcome back to the S2000 kind of time attack build series uh, we're on episode three right now but we have we're fairly behind because we've been doing a lot of stuff with my s2000 and christian's miata has so just been distracted i uh, took a few trips me and him which you guys will see in vlogs but here's the s2000 it has changed quite a bit since you guys have seen it uh episode two which was actually like i don't know three or four months ago at this point so i just wanted to give like a quick little update like a quick walk around on what we've changed since then uh i'll have to some of it you can't really see it's kind of inside the front bumper um so we'll have to get to that more in depth at home we're actually in angel's forest right now and we went for a little drive on this nice saturday so yeah i guess we'll just start at the front so i've mentioned a few times that i did get a new front bumper this is an oem new front bumper that matthew actually painted so shout out matthew and then this is a very shitty fitting 50 dollars ebay oem ap2 replica lip uh don't look too closely at it but then if you go underneath it this is actually a half inch uh, birch plywood splitter that I did build. Um, this is like version one. So I, I do want to make some revisions in like my, my next splitters. Uh, it is actually chassis mounted. You can't really see it right now. Uh, it's behind the front bumper. But it, I am using dev sport brackets to actually hold it to the chassis or the frame rails. Uh, I actually do need to make some more modifications as well. We'll run a rod through the corners. So it's got a little bit of flex. You can stand on it though, which is pretty sick. Uh, yeah, right on like the outer edges. I need a rod coming off the frame to like right this area to pull it up to the bumper. Um, oh yeah, wait. The biggest thing actually is probably the wheels and tires. We did show these in a vlog, but these are Titan Seven. Blanking on the model right now. T T S fives, a seventeen by nine and a half. It's pretty standard S two thousand setup, and then two fifty five forty seventeen is pretty much every naturally aspirated S two thousand owner's go to tire size. And then these are a fairly new, they were actually only released a few months ago, I believe. Uh, 200 Treadwear Kumho Xta V730. I've done one track day at Button Willow, which I did not actually film, but I do have a POV lab from it. And I, my, so prior to these wheels and tires, my PR at Button Willow is a 210. We're actually at a 208 right now, but the car is definitely capable of more. The 208 was in like 95 degrees of heat though, because it is summer right now, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to wait probably until the fall. Uh, the car will probably not be tracked too much in the summer. It just gets ridiculously hot since every track in SoCal is in a desert.
Hey guys, so today we are going to be installing a roll bar on the S2000. This over there, this is from Evasive, the EVS tuning roll bar. Unfortunately, just like that Miata over there, it is not as easy of an install. So I've actually been uh, just working, trying to take apart the interior. Christian just got here. Uh, he's behind the camera right now. So actually we have to take apart the interior and then unless i decide to trim a lot of the interior i won't be putting it back and i don't think i want to trim it so i'll have be running like a gutted rear end trunk setup from now on which kind of sucks because like the roll bars on the miatas they drop in so nicely and like you don't lose any functionality of your interior um yeah like the, the s2000 just because has the power the power convertible top it just adds a lot of stuff right here on the Miata, you can just drill the holes, get under the car, put your nuts in. You actually have to cut away some of the inner parts of the rear quarter panels to be able to slide the back the backing plate in. I'll show you guys what I mean when we get to that point. So overall, it's just not that fun of an install compared to a Miata. But it's going to look so, so much cooler. Yes. <laughs> You're going to finally sort of be on the same level as me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rear fortunately we did have to gut it a little bit this is actually the evasive tuning roll bar or evs this is their no there's no options you can do other than black and then i just have their like trunk button and uh cigarette lighter relocation console thing yeah other than that nothing crazy yet the car's been running really good been driving on the street quite a bit actually um yeah i don't know <laughs> that's just a little update on the car Nico's first time driving an S2000, I think. Yeah, actually it is. Is that not the best feeling shifter it took some. It took some getting used to. I'm still very biased to the setup I have on my E46. However, assuming this is a stock shifter, right? Yeah, completely I think, stock. I think hands down, aside from my bias with my E46, it is definitely top notch because <laughs> it's like, the travel is still appropriate but it's notchy enough to where you're not, you know, driving a school bus, if that makes sense. <laughs> Does yeah, that, yeah. that make sense? You know what I mean? But one thing I've got to say from not even owning the car, one immediate appeal to all buyers, the fact that you can actually clean this dash without having to like put your hand and wedge it in with the windshield. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, How many sure. of you guys know that from experience where you just try to get in there and then you're like, damn it, now I got finger marks all over the, the you know, the windshield, the windshield. And you're yeah, like, ah. So this is just like awesome. You get a damp rag and just quickly wipe and you're done. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it gets dusty from spinning out on the track. Yeah. Then everything just comes in, oh God. This car is definitely fun to drive. 
It was fun to drive. S2000 versus Miata now. <laughs> Am I really have to do that comparison right now? <laughs> you don't uh, have to. Okay, two completely different cars. Um, Seawheel setup, I'm still getting used to it because that car is, you know, now it's on like super sticky tires and on the T37s and all that. So it's, I know there's a lot more in it. I'm not pushing it, but also knowing that chassis, I'm not going to push it with it not being my car. Oh, oh here it comes. <laughs> He mobs around in that car so he hard. Does. <laughs> but he can't go past this going right. Uh, <laughs> ask him why. Uh, but this car, I think I enjoy the overall dynamic of it more because the power is much more suited to the chassis to where now the Miata's power is so underwhelming for what the chassis wants. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be obnoxiously like high numbers as many of you guys already know it's dead you know you you rely on six to seven thousand rpm and even then this at like four thousand and you punch in fourth they'll just pull away from it you know so area under the curve 